because your soft palate is so much down and you really want to lift it up. I'm on the edge of glory. I'm on the edge. I'm on the edge. Three singing hacks how to sound instantly better now today. Yes, queen, yes, queen, yes, queen. Hello, my beautiful friends, and welcome back to my channel. It's your favorite vocal coach, Tanya Levy, back on track. And today I have three amazing tips for you how to sound better. And let's start with number one. So number one is lifting that soft palate because many times when singers are a little bit flat, a little bit, not really off pitch, but they're lacking that certain lift or they are even flat then it's because of the of the soft palate hanging too much down. Now here is a beautiful picture of the soft palate. Now we have the hard palate and if you take your tongue and you tip it up here, then you feel that hard palate. Now the hard palate somewhere at some point doesn't get hard anymore, it is soft now. And when that soft palate drops down too much and it touches the root of the tongue, then the air is just going through the nose and that can sound very nasally in some parts and it can sound very flat. Now you see there are three positions. You can have that low position with the soft palate down. And then you can go up a little bit higher into mid. And you see, I'm still touching the tongue. And then I go up. That's my ah, 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 ah. That's a clean ah, that's what we want to have. So if you sing, for example, Lady Gaga's song, on the edge of glory, and I'm hanging on a moment with you, I'm on the edge, it's because your soft palate is so much down, and you really want to lift it up. I'm on the edge of glory, I'm on the edge. I'm on the edge. So you hear the difference. So what we want to do is have that lift and lift up the soft palate. Let's go to number two. And many times singers are here and they are singing too comfortable. Now, if you feel that you are just, you know, you don't have that certain power, it's because you don't have enough tension. You need a certain moderate amount of a good body tension to keep on going. Now, if you just stay there and sing, I'm on the edge of glory and I'm hanging on a moment with you. I'm on the edge of glory. It's not gonna work out. You wanna have a certain moderate amount of tension. You wanna engage bigger muscles. You not only wanna engage your diaphragm, but you wanna engage other muscles, but you need to have a certain tension in your body. So don't be too lazy, don't be too comfortable and be in a good posture, have a really good good posture, be aligned with everything and try to get a little bit of adrenaline going on, you know? Not too much, you're not on stage, right? But if you sing a song, you're engaging with a lot of muscles. So don't have this under tension going on. Just wanna add something to number two. It's really important because we don't wanna lack stability when we sing a phrase. Right? We want to make sure that we can hold that phrase and therefore we need the impulse from our diaphragm. Now if we let go of that certain impulse, that's when the phrase just falls apart basically. You know, it's just like, it goes like a curve down flat. Now you want to make sure that you keep your muscle activated and you sing broken down and tired. And you want to finish off beautifully. You don't want to go broken down and tired. Live alive on a merry go round that's not active enough, that's just not well supported enough, and don't have that certain stability that we want. Broken down and tired. And number three is vowel modification. And this is one of the biggest topics when it comes to singing is vowel modification. Now we don't sing songs like we speak them. My student Amrita is currently working on uh, Rise Up by Andra Day. And you see she marked a lot of uh, the vowels in yellow because these are the vowels that need to be modified so we don't sing them the same way that we, we spell them or write them. Now when she goes and sings, I'll rise up, rise like the day. Now example, rise. We don't sing rise up. We sing rise up. There is a hidden a that we want to pronounce an ah like the germans would say rise up so your mouth has to adjust you have to shape your tongue your mouth 
to modificate it certainly right because we want to make sure that we have a different sound placement going on we don't want to go rise up rise like the fire rise up because that would change the sound we want to have a good bright clear rise up we rise like the day broken down and tired and we don't want to go tired because again, we want to have that certain eye, we want to have that beautiful sound coming through and we want to be in the right position with our tongue and create just a better, uh, better foundation here. Tired! You see what I mean, right? Okay, if you enjoyed that video, then give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to watch also my other singing hacks and singing tips here on the channel and let me know what was your most useful singing hack to sound better instantly, right?